In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to uh, repair a quantum SCSI hard drive. There are two little rubber bumpers uh, on the head assembly that they melt down with age and they get all sticky and gooey. And usually the head sticks to them. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, free up the head, cover the uh, molten rubber and see if I can bring this uh, hard drive back to life. Opening up the hard drive is actually quite easy. You just need to remove those six screws plus a little nut under this sticker and a Torx screw under here. And then you should be able to lift the cover. So if we try and power it on, you'll see that the heads will not move. So I just switch it off again switch it on and just give it a little bit of, a, of an help so now should actually be able to move freely and there we go now that we know that the hardware works we can uh, try and make this uh, little quick fix a bit more permanent I'm going to unscrew those three screws and then lift the magnet and that should reveal the two uh, rubber bumpers. With the help of my pliers I was able to easily remove the magnet and we can see the two uh, rubber bumpers. So what we're going to do is cover them with some uh, thin tape so they don't stick to the head. So we're going to free up this head as well and we're going to cover up this one here too. So I place some uh, blue tape on both bumpers and so we're now ready to mount the magnet back into place and close up the hard drive. Okay so I've got the magnet uh, back into place also make sure that this uh, little brake release is in uh, the correct position and we're now ready to test it for the last time. As you can see, it's running perfectly. So I'm going to close the cover and then reinstall it into the uh, Macintosh. And uh, here's the Mac back with its uh, hard drive. And let's see if it actually works. And there we go, another drive brought back to life, thank you for watching.